Hey folks, so I've been doing some research in Blueprint and uh, I thought that before I jump into uh, doing online multiplayer, because it's taking a lot of time and uh, energy, I figured I'd give you guys something else before I jump into that. So I still have the mage left to do and the summon, the boss videos are done. So once I kind of finish the mage and show her entire setup, I want to show how to make a local PvP or a local co-op so this this is what I, how far I got so far as you can see I got the split screen and the second player but I can't control them because I don't have controllers so there's still a lot of things for me to uh, understand but I kinda of figured out how to make a player spawn with uh, any character they would want so they could select whether they want the warrior or the mage or whichever and you see the widget on the corner didn't move so I plan on making it move automatically when a player enters or when a player exits the game. Now, here are some things I'm going to be covering in uh, so in local co-op mode. This is what I hope to achieve. So the boss attacks the player based on aggro. So there's going to be some functions that are going to check how much uh, how much the player is hurting the boss or if you're a healing type character then what is it that it's causing the boss to get angry at that player. So I'll find a way to get that plugged in. And widget auto placement in split screen. So as you saw the widget was at the bottom left and I was in split screen so I'm going to try to fix that. And the boss automatically strengthens when new players arrive and vice versa. So these are things I know for certain. I will explore if I get like two controllers. But the three to four player co-op it's going to be a step further depending on if I can get more controllers. So this is only local co-op mode. And then I'm going to experiment with split screen PvP. So once again letting second player select his character and enabling players to damage each other. Adjusting stats to balance things out because you don't want the players to be overpowered like they are now. I'll try to find a way to make the to use the same blueprint so there's no need to duplicate it. I mean duplicating will be last resort. And then for the mage since I plan on doing a summon that you can control. Well the summon can chase the player and attack him too. And then uh, to take a step further if I have more controllers then uh, team PvP or four player uh, free for all PvP. So that's pretty much it for this little announcement. But I'm going to keep you guys posted with uh, more videos because I'm working on the page and the summon. And as soon as the recordings are done, I'll post those. And if you want to contribute or donate to this thing, I've set up a Gumroad. And here you can see it's $1 plus. So you just need to donate $1 at least. If I put it to $0, people would have entered 0 and downloaded it. There's nothing but an image in there anyway. So this is the link I'll post in the video, and the game pads I'm planning on getting, and most probably a multi-port USB. It's this one where I can plug in at least four, and then this common uh, game pad was on top of Amazon, so I figured I, I don't crack my head and just go with whatever's there on the first place. So that's pretty much it, and in the future videos you're going to get updates on the mage and how to make the summon, and then I'll invest a lot of time in working on the uh, online multiplayer to uh, create a match, join a match, and probably do all this in there too. I don't really know. I mean, we'll see when the time comes and I get there. So, thanks for watching, and if you want to support, there's a link in the video description that you can go to and donate a dollar. So, thank you.